Well, hello everyone, it's Ryan Salins, and there comes a point when growing a beard where it just gets to be a bit too big. So, I'm just going to show you what I do to try to keep some length um, while also keeping a little more manageable in shape. I am not a barber. I am not a stylist. I am a guy that bought a wall shaver and has different guards. And so I'm going to show you what I do with mine. So first I'm a wall shaver. Uh, and with this, I will show you what I do first with this. Uh, and then I have set out a fourth guard, a three eighths guard, a half inch guard, a three fourths guard and an inch guard. Will I use all of these? I'm not quite sure, but I have them set out and we will find out together. First, I look at my mustache and I'm like, mm, yeah, I want to trim this area. So, okay. So now I just did a straight line across here just so you can see my lips again. You know, look at my cheeks, I'm like, ugh. While I like growing it around here, when it gets a little higher right now, it's not quite thick enough for me to like that, so I do this. All right, and the key is not to go too high. They always say don't shave these hairs up here. I'll do the same thing on this cheek. Okay, so then that's shape. And then I look at my neck, I'm like, yeah, I like to keep it, the beard down a little bit, but I don't want all of these. So I'm gonna be cutting a line up the side of the neck and then going this way to shave the hairs. Okay, and then after I do the cut line, I just shave up. Yes, I do not use shaving cream. I never have, 15 years now. We go that way to try to avoid ingrown hair. Okay, so then that's the neckline cut. And now the fun part starts. So this is when I first grab the fourth inch, one fourth inch guard and clip it on to my shaver like this. And then I like to do my sideburns at a fourth of an inch to keep it tight against my face. And I just run it up like this. And I like to go right out here on my chin. Do on my side too. Okay, so from here to here, I use the fourth inch guard. Now, I like to move to the three eighths inch. And I go a little bit more into here, not too far. I guess maybe it's just fading. I don't know what I'm doing, it's like, what do I do? So then I like to just kinda slowly So I just right here, that's why I'm shaking right now. With the three eighths, and then I go to the half inch and go a little bit further in. So it's, I kind of like taking the blades with each time with the different size fourth, three eighths, half inch. Next, I'm gonna use three fourths, and then after that, I'm gonna use an inch. And actually, for my mustache, I tend to use a half inch too. Actually, sometimes I use a three eighths. And sometimes here too. All right. Okay, slowly but surely, moving on to Force. So I do this on the sides of my chin and underside. Okay. 
And I run it through a few times because, you know, it's like when you go get your hair cut. They run it back and forth, different directions, try to get stray hairs. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, and then I go for the belly here with an inch. So, an inch guard. Put it on to the wall and take this out right here. Like that. The chin's always the hardest because that's a... <laughs> Everybody's chin is different. So, after doing this, I may be like, mm, you know what, I don't think I want an inch. I think I want to go down to three-fourths. So then I may decide to cut this down a little bit more. Um, so this is just the process with doing the beard. What I notice is on the underside, I'm gonna take just my regular flat blade and contour a little bit. But, I am glad I went down to three fourths. So as you can see, I got quite a bit of hair here. Some of that will fall back in line. Others of it will just look really silly as, as I go forward. So I'm gonna take my blade here, as you can see, see that? And I'm just gonna cut in towards my neck. Okay, so there you have it. I just trimmed down my beard, if you can see that. Um, again, using a fading technique, fourth inch, three eighths inch, half inch, and then three eighths inch here, and then I just did three fourths inch all here. And then cut in towards my neck very gently to keep that so that you don't have a big scruff right down there. So there you go. That's the way that I trim my beard. And the good news is I can keep the length and not have to worry about shaving it all down because I use this fading technique.